And welcome in everyone to Reckham 247.com. I'm Zach Long. This is Daniel Pauling. You are on the Reckham 247.com weekly recruiting update. And last week, Daniel, we promised them a large list of visitors for this all important Oklahoma game, and we're not going to disappoint. No, a huge list of visitors, four official visits, two unofficial visits so far. That, de that can definitely change as the week continues to go on. As kids say, hey, Texas Tech, Oklahoma, that should be a big one. Uh, first, Big, or perhaps the biggest official visitor, Khalil Houghton, safety out of Waco. Um, it, it kind of a, his, his status is kind of up in the air. It's either, I think it's either going to be Oklahoma or Baylor. He's actually made six visits to Norman already. Goodness gracious. <laughs> and he wants to make another one, so that'll be his, that would be his seventh visit to Norman. Uh, obviously, being from Waco, he knows what Baylor is all about. Uh, he's also made official visits to Arkansas and Nebraska. Uh, so we'll, we'll kind of see how Texas Tech fits in. Texas Tech will be his last official visit, which I guess bodes well for the Red Raiders if you want to look for something positive. He was supposed to come for the Texas game, made his official visit to Baylor that weekend instead because his dad was in town. Um, so he'll be coming down to uh, Texas Tech this weekend. So he'll have another chance to see Oklahoma, but he'll also have a chance to see Texas Tech. He seems a little enamored with the Sinners. <laughs> I think so. I think it comes down to, to those two schools. I don't, I don't think Tech's in it, but... You know, one, one weekend never in know, never one, know. One weekend in love, it can change your mind. Second, uh, second official visitor, Fred Ulu Perry. Nice name. S nice, very nice name. Six foot two, three hundred pounds, four star center. Uh, pretty much the only center left on Texas Tech's board, or at least the top uh, center they have left on their board. They've signed five, or they've received commitments from five offensive tackles this year. Haven't gotten any interior uh, line guys. You know, Jared Castor is going to be graduating uh, after next season. Uh, Robert Castaneda is currently redshirting. He's probably the backup to Caster. So we'll kind of see how that plays out. Ulu Perry is a UCLA commit. Uh, asked him, hey, can, can Tech flip you? He said, I'm pretty solid with UCLA, but I'm still watching what's going on. You know, kind of taking a look around. Braden right. Bahoko, a name uh, a lot of people around here know, and, and we'll discuss him a little bit later. Uh, he said, look, go to Texas Tech. Try it out. Spend a weekend there. Um, the weather we're having now, it's not going to be like Hawaii, but Saturday should be a little bit warmer <laughs> than today. So maybe he'll enjoy it. Uh, he's definitely a big commitment. And one thing I'd like to add, I, uh, I texted him a couple days ago. He said, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a call. And a little bit later, hey, man, I've got to take care, take care of some chores around the house. And, you know, a lot of kids be like, oh, I'd much rather just blow off my chores and do an interview. Very, very earnest kid, very nice kid, took care of his chores. We got a chance to speak with him. Stories up on Reckon247.com. So... Definitely a character nice. kid is someone you're after, and I know that's playing a more important role in college athletics, but a good personality and a good citizen goes a long way towards a Division I scholarship. Absolutely, and, and two, uh, two remaining visitors are going to be wide receivers. Shocking, uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> with with uh, Quan Shorts committing last week, and, and we'll get to him a little bit as well, uh, they, they only have spots for one or two wide receivers left, and I know, you know Tyron Johnson's still out there. Tech, tech fans want him. D.D. Westbrook, the Blinn College sophomore, is out there. I know Tech fans want him. Damian Ratley, another Blinn College guy, is still out there. I know Tech fans want him. So it, it kind of remains to be seen, you know, whether uh, Brown or, or, or Tony Brown, one of the receivers, and, and Dante Thompson, another receiver, receivers, uh, will commit this weekend. Tech's actually had booms the last two Sundays. Tony Brown comes into this weekend saying Texas Tech is his favorite. Uh, his top three also includes Colorado and Nebraska, no particular order. He's a six foot one, 175, three star receiver, uh, 39 catches for 928 yards, 11 touchdowns. His average is 24.4 yards per catch. Goodness gracious. That's one fourth of the football field, in case your math isn't that great. That's pretty good. They're not subtle on the underneath routes, are they? No. The ball's going down the field a little bit. And, you know, that's one of the things you look at here, and you're almost getting the feeling, Daniel, that this tech coaching staff maybe expects a little departure and attrition type related uh, actions after this season. Perhaps. And, and DJ Polite Bray switching from wide receiver to the cornerback. We'll see if he stays there and see if he does well this season. But uh, that could open up a scholarship uh, at wide receiver just because, you know, hey, one guy is on the other mm -hmm. side of the ball. And uh, the fourth visitor Texas Tech has, Dante Thompson. He's a uh, wide receiver out of Ennis. Uh, six foot four, 200 pounds, so he's a big kid, three-star receiver, uh, number 169 at his position. He doesn't have a Texas Tech offer right now, but he's still making that official visit, uh, so we'll kind of see how that plays out. 48 catches for 899 yards, 10, uh, 10 touchdowns this season, 18.7 per catch. So he's definitely uh, been a big target 
six foot four, 200 pounds, definitely, as I said. He's been a big target for Ennis, and uh, we'll see if that kind of carries over to Tech, if they offer him this weekend or, or if they're just taking a look-see at him. Is that all of our ones that we know about so far? That's all the official visits we know about. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe more added, so obviously going to be a huge weekend on the sidelines before the game when you uh, see all those uh, individuals down there. That's a big weekend, and of course, when you get a marquee opponent in like Oklahoma, it's natural that you have a big recruiting weekend. Daniel, right now, though, we're going to take a little bit of a sidestep from the old football because if you didn't notice Wednesday was national signing day for a lot of other sports including basketball Texas Tech signed a couple new Red Raiders. Tubby Smith is done with 2015 at least for now if, if no one else transfers or, or anything like that. CJ Williamson you know we've talked to, uh, talked about him a lot Jordan Jackson as you may know is Cheryl Swoops' son. Right. She played here. Did a little few basketball things around Lubbock. Yeah, I think so. Think you're familiar. Yeah. Uh, CJ, uh, as we said before, six foot six, 185 pounds, uh, uh, point guard, kind of large for the position. He was considering Missouri and Virginia Tech as his final three, including Texas Tech. T spoke with Tubby Smith last night. He said, "Look, this kid could play pro. He's got all the skills to come here and compete in the Big 12, and has an opportunity to play after college. So that's definitely a big deal." Jordan Jackson, uh, number 296 player overall, three-star point guard. His final five was Tulsa, Houston, Stephen F. Austin, Bowling Green, and Texas Tech. So he's definitely got the, the lineage here. You know, Tubby said, look, I want kids who love Texas Tech. I want kids who love Lubbock. And Jordan Jackson fits that bill. His dad, Eric Jackson, also played football at Texas Tech. And we all know who his mother was. Exactly. And CJ, the thing that sticks out about him is he's got a couple state titles all under his belt already in 8A. That's a big <laughs> class. In, they have a lot of classes in Florida, but that's just someone who knows how to win. And I think that's probably an important thing for a college coach to get a hold of. Definitely. And Jordan Jackson, I mean, his team made the final four last year for the private schools here in Texas. That's a, definitely a big deal. And he's got the hops. He set his school record at six feet, eight inches in the high jump. Goodness so gracious. He can get that's up just there. an athlete. Not surprising with who his parents are, <laughs> but that's just a heck of an athlete. Going to be interesting to see how they have an impact on tech basketball, of course next year and All one right. thing about next year sorry to interrupt but no, please do Robert Turner point guard is gonna he's done with his eligibility this year uh, so you know we'll see if CJ Williamson kind of fits into that role or, or how they kind of handle that maybe with Justin Gray at point but uh, Todrick Gocher he uh, is currently working on his masters he has one year of eligibility left after this season if he gets done will he stay will he continue playing here will he transfer out uh, will he just graduate and say look I'm done with college, time to go join the real world. That could create an opening as shooting guard uh, for Jordan Jackson maybe to come in or, or maybe for Tech to add another scholarship player. So it kind of remains to be seen what Todrick uh, plans to do. And also that's a big recruiting recruiting thing is you're going to play for Tubby Smith if you're good from the start, and that's a very alluring thing for a individual looking for a place to c play college basketball. Right. You don't want to sit on a bench for three years and uh, watch things, do you? No. All right, well, there's basketball. We're going to go back to football now. And last week we talked about Mr. Quan Shorts, and he decommitted from UTSA, and now he has a new home, doesn't he? Yep, Quan uh, committed to Texas Tech uh, on Sunday. He became the second commit to uh, our second boom Texas Tech football has received on a Sunday. Kind of came into this weekend saying, look, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. He went ahead and committed. <laughs> <laughs> Six foot one, 195 pounder, uh, three star wide receiver. Uh, he's actually has, he doesn't, uh, coach didn't know uh, his 40 speed, but a 10.8, 100 meter dash. Definitely very speedy. Almost made the state champ, or uh, state meet. But that was just his first year running track. He had usually played baseball, just decided, hey, I'm going to go out for track. Right. 10.8, you can't complain about that. Uh, he became the number 14 commit in Texas Tech's uh, 2015 class. So it uh, kind of remains to be seen. You know, I think he'll, he'll be maybe a guy who redshirts, or he may be a guy who can, who can you know, come out and play immediately. Probably, a, uh, you know, with his size, he could slot in between, you know, slot receiver or outside mm. receiver. So it kind of remains to be seen exactly where he's going to play, but uh, he's got the talent to play both spots. I there think. And a lot, there's a lot of big names left on that wide receiver list that they're after. So that shows you the amount of respect that they have for shorts to go ahead and take him right now and get him locked up. Absolutely. All right, Daniel, this time of year we find out the Under Armour All-American Game participants, and it's kind of a rarity that we say this, but we get to here. Texas Tech's going to be represented at that game. Quite well, actually. Uh, Jarrett Stidham got his Under, All Under Armour All-America jersey today, same day as five-star wide receiver Tyron Johnson. Yep. Probably just a coincidence, <laughs> but we'll see how that kind of turns out. Uh, Braden Fajoko would also be on that team. I know Tech fans might be worried, hey, well, what happens if Braden Fajoko tackles Jarrett Stidham? I don't know. We'll find out uh, early January as we're all watching the game. 
Uh, <laughs> just saying that caused a huge roar, man. I mean, that's, that's just bad mojo right there, Daniel. But they can be on the same team as well. It kind of remains to be seen. Fred Uwu Perry, uh, guy who's making an official visit, he will also be on that team, or also named to the Under Armour All-America game. Teams haven't been decided yet, so we'll kind of see how those guys play out. But, uh, I mean, it, it could be fun to see uh, Fahoko and, and Uwu Perry line up against each other. I know Uwu Perry, uh, coaches have told him, hey, we want you here next year, and you're competing against Braden Fajoko every day in practice. Right. Absolutely. And hopefully, you know, since Stidham and Fajoko are locked up, we won't see any stupid shenanigan ceremonies with 55 hats and an elephant carrying in, you know, your helmet. You know, th they'll be locked up, so maybe they'll spend their week, I have a th guess here, maybe doing a little recruiting for Texas Tech, you think? I think so. And I, I just wonder, you know, if you were doing something special, you know, uh, I know a Florida commit brought a little baby alligator to uh, his commitment. Yeah. I don't want to deal with any alligators. No. But he committed to Florida. Uh, what would, I mean, what would the Texas Tech uh, special commit activity be? You have bring a horse, I guess. A horse or? Yeah, you want to up your game. Bring a horse and a masked rider to your uh, commitment ceremony. That's how I guess you represent Texas Tech. Because I would say guns up, but I think you'll get in trouble for whipping out a six shooter in the high school auditorium. <laughs> Just a guess. <laughs> So yeah, I think the horse would be my bet. I'd go with a nice black horse in the background. That's pretty baller. If you came in as the mass rider, though. I don't know. I'm a little portly to be the mass rider. <laughs> I don't think the horse would enjoy me burdening its back. Daniel Pauling with a wealth of information that you need and maybe some that you don't need after that little visual you just gave them. Go to Reckham247.com. Get a subscription. Follow Daniel on Twitter. A wealth of Texas Tech recruiting information because it's going to get hot and heavy, isn't it, Daniel? We are just a few weeks away from National Signing Day in February. A lot of activity coming up for Texas Tech. February 4th. Absolutely. So stay locked in right there. For now, though, we're going to bid you farewell for the Reckham247.com weekly recruiting update. I'm Zach Long. That's Daniel Pauling. You're on Reckham247.com.